Hi, my name is Erin Udell, and I'm the founder and executive director of My Own Home Project. Um, I'm an operating room nurse. I live in Palm Beach County, Florida. And um, I do the angel tree every year in the Gardens Mall. And one year, I um, picked an angel off the tree, and it was a young man who was exiting foster care that wanted dishes and pots and pans and glassware and all the stuff you need to start your life. So I did some research and found out that when they leave foster care in Palm Beach County, traditionally they would leave with a garbage bag with their personal belongings in it. So that was the beginning of my own home project. And um, so we work with the Department of Children and Families, ChildNet, Vita Nova, other groups, and we, um, we have distribution parties where kids come and they um, basically pick out all the stuff they need to start their lives. You just get everything you would give your own kids when they move out. I feel like maybe uh, this is a special, um, has special meaning for me personally because I was homeless when I was 15. And so I understand what it's like to be on the streets and not have anybody um, there to help you. Um, life is hard enough and these kids really are so strong and they're so appreciative. We're giving them, you know, a sense of dignity and we're giving them a sense of ownership, pride and ownership, and, um, and we're giving them a home. It's not an empty apartment, it's their home. It's all theirs, it's all new, no one's ever owned it but them. Uh, the implications are really great um, because if you don't have a home, what do you have? I'd like to introduce you to Shannon. She's a foster child from uh, Palm Beach County who was aged out of foster care. She's going to share her story with you. And she was a recipient of a distribution party from My Own Home Project. My name is Shannon. I'm 18 years old. And I aged from the foster care system January 3rd, 2014, in Palm Beach County. I ended up in foster care. Uh, I was in and out my whole life as a baby. And as I got older, um, my grandma took custody of me and my two brothers. I don't know my father and my mother. She, she couldn't take care of us because she does drugs. I know my grandmother and she took care of me and my brothers for about a month or so. She ended up calling DCF because she couldn't take care of us. And like it was really hard and my brothers weren't like contributing. They were much older, they're eight years older than me. And the, the group home, it was, it was hard because everyone already had all their friends and it was just like I was I wasn't very social to anybody to anybody so it was like I didn't feel wanted there so I'd run away a lot but I would run away to my grandmother she wouldn't report me she'd keep me there for a few days but then like she'd have to let me go back I felt so alone because when every kid would have their visitations I would call and my grandma would tell me she was coming and she never came. Aging out of foster care was very exciting for me because I was very excited to get out on my own. I thought I could do better than everybody who was around me. You know, like, can I get out? Can I get out? And finally, when it did come, it was hard <laughs> because, like, life isn't what you think it is when you're a kid. Like, you think it's just, oh, just go get a job and then you'll be rich. And it's not like that. And like you have to work very hard and it's hard to do it alone because no one's there to support you when you need it the most. My own home project, that helped me to give me um, a sense of belonging when I was, when I did get my own house because it gave you like every necessity that you needed. And I went home wanting to go home for once and it wasn't like I didn't want to be there. And I just put it all in a room and I didn't think anything about it. I went in the living room and I sat on the floor <laughs> and I was just like, wow, it's so empty. It's like, I didn't want to be there. I'm thinking about where can I go? And then I remembered I had all this stuff and I went out and packed and they gave you like homey stuff too, like candles and like things just to make you like, oh, I have stuff. <laughs> Like, it looks cute. That's what I did, and I unpacked everything, and it really made a difference. Currently, I am enrolled in college at Palm Beach State, and I'm doing prereqs, and I'm on my own. I'm thinking about going in the nursing field or radiology. 
I think that my own home project is a great organization and I think that people should donate so that other kids who are in my shoes could experience something that's going to change their lives. My Own Home Project is an all-volunteer 501c3 nonprofit in Palm Beach County, Florida. We're helping foster children one child at a time. Won't you please consider helping these kids on their journey to adulthood and independence?